just the other day and i don't i don't uh i'm pretty sure geekdom also uh brought this up but toriyama even i, I don't know if it was toriyama or one of the one of the people on the movie or someone from toei one of those motherfuckers okay because they're all at fault here they're all at fault here okay they sh they low key basically said that everything is canon basically that is what they said now are you like what do you mean everything is canon that part you you talk about all the movies they straight up low key now this is why i say low key because it's very it's like it's like you ever hear someone say something that it's like so fucking vague be and, and it's and it's so bad it's so it's so terribly vague that and the reason why it's so terribly vague terribly vague is because if if what's really being said sounds like how it's you know being said that could be atrocious no, right? i hate i hate vague shit in general oh yeah fuck that shit be specific bitch right <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my attitude towards being vague at least. right because like. <laughs> listen the thing is right because here's 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 the saving grace i don't even want to call it the saving grace because i'm being vague now at this point but if they're gonna go on record and like this, this, you know this is not a fucking private conversation th these people are having okay these are fucking adults grown ass adults clearly past their prime way past their prime making executive decisions on a on a on a on a fucking monumentally super pop culture esque series and franchise on where and what kind of direction this shit needs to go into and they're gonna fucking have these publicly available interviews so that all types of people not just us all types of people can read this shit and take and take from it what we will they, do, do they not realize what the fuck they're doing do you know how reckless it is to go on record and literally say basically paraphrasing i'm paraphrasing to basically say oh yeah you know everything's canon like there is there is nothing there's no such thing as non-canon nah yeah that's not good For, yo listen listen and this is coming from the guy that i defend gt low-key i don't defend it in a way where it's just I, like oh go ahead i i was gonna say i do too partly right like we partly defend it Right, because there's things from it that I really believe should be incorporated going forward. You know, if they were going to retcon GT, and that's totally okay. Oh, they will. Boma's booty's gonna help us. Thank you. Right, <laughs> whole video on that. Check it out. Okay, but dude, like that's not all right. You cannot do that. Like that should that should, should that should should be obvious. Like that is so fucking reckless. And like I was trying to say before. If you're trying to basically say as a as a way to make people still care about all of those other projects and things that are not, you know, really within the main timeline of things, you know, like you don't have to say that you really don't. Okay, there's so many different ways to fucking make sure people still give a half a shit about any of these older fucking things, right? What do you think the video games are there for? What the fuck do you think the video games are there for? The, like, the video games... And there's a shitload of them. A shitload of them. Legend and Dokkan right now are still going. Xenoverse 2 still somehow has DLC, even though it's not as as regulated as Dokkan and Legends, they still got fucking DLC coming out for that game. Isn't that, and Kai, you can definitely 
correct me on this, but is not is Xenoverse 2 not as old as like wasn't it originally on PS3 and 360? Was it okay? So it was PS4? It was, it was 2016. Okay, okay. Thank you for that correction. <clears throat> That's still six years. That is still a long fucking time. That's more than half a decade. Okay. Not all, not, not, not a lot of games see the light of day, even in the slightest bit. But that is what the, that, that's part of what the reason, what's part of the purpose behind video games is to, you know, just have at it. Look at Super Dragon Ball Heroes, a fucking game that is so popular, it has its own anime and manga that's ongoing. That is over here. Okay, here's all the main shit, and that shit's over there. Saying that kind of a reckless statement is doing this, and I don't want that. You know what's okay? funny? It I didn't even, make even sense. when you said everything is canon, I was like trying to process how how broad and how serious of a statement you meant by that. And then when I realized that, oh, we, we're really having this conversation right now. I still did not put two and two together that Heroes exists because I would have popped off if I remembered that when you said that. I completely forgot until just now because that that just got Listen, me that got you, me fucked up. You can't you can't say everything is canon because that means niggas is gonna go say? back to all these movies and and think like all this shit actually happened. It don't make sense. Like we just right. got Broly, right? If you're gonna if, if a new nigga is watching this shit. And he goes back to all the movies. He's gonna he be like, oh, Broly's. so, so bro, yeah, like he's gonna be like, okay, so Broly got beat by Goten and Trunks. He got beat by uh, Adult Gohan or whatever in Super Saiyan base form. Then in the first fucking movie in Broly, he got fucking Superman punched and died by Goku's fist. Like, what? what the, what's going on? So we had what three versions of Broly's, and now we get this Broly, and like he's like. He, I mean, he's strong as fuck, obviously, but like it, it just doesn't add up to the story. Like, like it wouldn't make sense for everything to be canon. So, like, it, just using Broly as an example right there, because he had three fucking movies. Like, like it wouldn't, it wouldn't make sense if it was in the timeline. Because then technically you have to be wished back. Because he's died three times. <laughs> <laughs> like that doesn't, that, that doesn't make sense. He to didn't me. die. He didn't die the he, first time. Yeah. But okay. Still, the first like, time, whatever. He didn't still, die the he, first time. The second time and the third time, he got blown away. But you see the confusion that's gonna. Go ahead, Kai. So exactly. So I have um. It, this is kind of a like a segue off of this real quick. Thank God. Um. He mentioned Broly, and he mentioned the old Brolies, and that reminded me of something I totally forgot that I wanted to say on here real quick, which was, and I'm like, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use the character's name, but in in the new movie, you know, this this big bad villain, you know what they did? They bio Brolyed this man, and I didn't even think about it, they but that's really literally did. what they happened. Really they did. fucking bio Brolyed him. They lo they really did. They did. Uh, Holy uh, shit. Yeah. Okay, wait, 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 wait. You can't unsee it. No, you can't unsee it. Nah, they, what they, you really to say, they really did. They really did. <laughs> Look at the third. Compare the third movie. Compare the third Broly movie to this bio nigga right now. All right, hold and on. You guys they had all me. a bunch of people trying around, you know, all around him, throwing command waves and shit. Nah, dude, they, they bio Broly'd him. <laughs> no fucking wonder he had no. no hold no. up. Yeah. The reason why I'm not fully agreeing is because the re yo, the reason why no one fucking likes that movie, Bio Broly, is because Broly is a fucking walking piece of shit. We don't care. Quite literally, we don't care quite about literally. the appearance though. We're talking about the resemblances in the well, fucking yeah. writing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, <sighs> a, a a great fucking character. I get it. I yes. Is, okay. 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 I. A great yeah, fucking they bio Broly his ass. <laughs> <laughs> they bio Broly this nigga. <laughs> oh my I had god! To, I had to say that because I was watching it and I was like, "Damn, that really just happened, though." <sighs> nah, there needs to there needs to be a a lot of shit that needs to be restated. 
<laughs> well, okay. There are a lot of statements that need to be retracted completely. Oh, no, no. They need to be deleted for sure. Moral, moral of all of Sorry. this, really, is that, um, like I was saying before, we cannot... We, and, th and this is, in a way, is very sad. To, to, to completely doubt and dismiss official word from the creator. We have to at this point. It's it's way past time. We it's have to. so w yo. It's bad. It's it's we've at been, this point. It's terrible. We've been level headed. We've been patient. We've been holding it down. We've been usahing this bitch and trying to relax. No. After after hearing what I've after all of the different head ass we discussed today, no. I'm gonna just say it is, yo. Like, if anybody actually believes that this Gohan, this new Gohan and new Piccolo are on par with Goku and Vegeta at this point, you need to be tested. <laughs> 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 That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say. Like, like you not no Dragon Ball fan, nigga. You a fucking schmuck on the streets, nigga. We sending you back there, nigga. <laughs> nah, bro. Real talk. You, you need Crazy. to be tested. <laughs> Send it like, back cause... to the streets. Oh man, that's yeah. Shit, though, man. I don't got like, bro. and that's and that's what I'm saying. Cause there, there's gonna be people that literally are gonna agree with this man Toriyama and be like, oh yeah, I see it. But he's stronger. He's dude, stronger than Goku and Vegeta. Oh yeah. That oh, is nah, that is part Get of the me. many problems that's now going to come out of this is the fact that the official dude. The official creator is the most head ass dude in the entire fandom now. He's, He's worse than the YouTube comments. Do you realize that? He's listen. a clown. Listen, He's listen, been clowning. Listen. But this is this is far beyond any nah, level of bro, fucking a, clown I, I shit. Think He's I, ever gotta done. Say, I think I gotta say one more thing. Kind of going back to the to basically saying Bioman's is stronger than Broly. Right? Because we talked about that earlier or whatever. Fucking, I don't, like, I don't believe in that shit whatsoever. Because it's like, basically, all you gotta do is put Gohan and this new pickle up against Broly. And, and see what fucking happens. Right? <laughs> see what happens. Like, like bro. Like, cause, because the comparisons I gave Gohan and Piccolo to Goku and Vegeta, as far as, like, The where generous I think, ones. Yeah, the generous ones. If you put those generous forms against the Broly we saw in the movie... They're gonna get toasted. So yep. wouldn't you expect the same thing essentially from Gohan and Orange fucking Pelico? Oh, that's that good shit.